Is there anything that you want me to highlight about your body? You want to exaggerate for the ladies? <laughs> exaggerate what exactly? No, I'd say we were blessed. <laughs> Mama did her thing. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm Paxton. I'm Tori. And how do you guys know each other? We're stepsisters. We're brothers. Yeah, came from the same mother. Different uh, dads. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We're both queer. I'm bisexual. And I'm pansexual. And we both come from a really small conservative town where pretty much everyone is pretty homophobic and not super accepting. So wait a minute, what are you doing here? We're gonna paint each other nude. Have you ever done anything like this together? No. I don't think we've been in a room naked together in at least a decade. Yeah. Who wants to start getting into their robe first? I can go. You can go first. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Oh, it's green and purple like your old room. How do you feel? Naked. <laughs> All right, your turn. Naked time. Okay, whenever you are ready. This is so weird. <laughs> Very weird. Why <laughs> do you look so awkward? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just, I, I laugh when I, I feel awkward. I'm looking at your face. Yeah, I, I know I don't that. want to come down, but I think I should just come down. <laughs> what do you want to come across in the painting? I want you to like make me love like the parts of me that I don't like, so like my tummy, my rolls. Our bodies actually aren't like too different. I like my body. I definitely have my ups and downs. Being in the gay community, there's some standard that you have to uphold, but it's really hard to hit that standard. Were there things that you think that I got away with that you couldn't because of your body type? I remember like this super vividly. Your mom and I were shopping and like, I picked up like a shirt and she was like, oh, you can't wear that. And she told me it was because my boobs were too big. But then you picked up the same shirt and your mom was like, yeah, you can totally get that. And I was like, how is that fair? I think that we both were like told we needed to like save ourselves for marriage and like- For our future husbands. Yeah, for future husbands. Future husbands. Which now we're both queer, so that backfired. But I want a wife. <laughs> when did you know that you were gay? That's a good, yeah. When did you know you were gay? That's a very weird question. Just because I feel like with sexuality and personalities, they are always changing. But I would say I knew that I definitely liked boys in elementary school. Do you remember when I got caught kissing? Um, yes, I do remember that. <laughs> I got God smacked for kissing boys in the closet. That's just so ironic. Who slapped you? My dad slapped me. Then when I lost my virginity and dad called me a used cloth, that fucked me up. Yeah, dude. And then like your mom was just telling me how like no good Christian boy was like ever gonna want me because I was like tainted. I just didn't understand why it was such an offense. Just because growing up we do have gay family members and so it's just something I'm used to seeing. Yeah. And so I think his reaction definitely stumped me and I think it gave me an understanding that he wouldn't accept me if I were to truly be who I wanted so to. So did you know that like at that point? Yeah. I got my nipples pierced kind of to like fight back against people telling me that you can't show your nipples in clothes and I just wanted to be like, fuck you, like I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear. You and were very so, rebellious. Yes. Well, that's why I was a bad kid. Yeah, but I never told on you. That's good. That got yeah, me I trouble. do appreciate that. Were you guys close when you were kids? We got like closer when we were in high school. Yeah, I remember after we went to Catholic camp, he called me the F word. I did? Yeah. I literally had like an emotional breakdown. Like I was like hyperventilating. And then mom helped me calm down and she's like, there's nothing wrong with that. So why the fuck do you care? And I was like, oh yeah, what the fuck? Why do I care? I don't know if you can tell what I'm like, like red in the face right now. Is that, <laughs> I wish I could like take it back essentially. But Honestly, I think it was good for me. I don't think so. I know you do feel I, bad. I, I and I felt horrible at the time, but thank you also. You don't have to thank me. What? It made me stronger. <laughs> How's that painting coming along, Tori? It is nearly done. I focused more on the body because she already knows that she has a very beautiful face, so. Thank you. I wanted to capture your energy, and I feel like I got a good mix. I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Okay, here we go. What do you think? Oh, wow. I actually really like it. You like it? Yeah, a lot. And this is you, my friend. You, you love orange, and you have a very, I think, orangey energy. And I gave you a good heart, because you have a good heart. 
That was actually really sweet. I like that like you like gave me curves, but also like it's not overly sexual. It makes me sad because like I hate that I like think of myself in such a negative way, but it's like sweet that my sibling sees me in such a positive way. I love you. I love you too, sis. I'd hug you, but you're naked. Yeah. <laughs> Time to switch? Yeah. <laughs> All right, show time, folks. I'm very nervous. Ah. <laughs> Woo wee! You still got abs. Kind of. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of figured that you would like look more adult-like than when we were kids. Yeah. But I think you also kind of look the same. Is there anything that you want me to highlight about your body? Ooh. Want to exaggerate for the ladies? <laughs> Exaggerate what exactly? No, I say we were we were blessed. Mama's pussy did her thing. <laughs> Do you think your mom and my dad treated us differently because how our bodies looked? Maybe dad was confused why I didn't identify with the white side of me more than the Asian side. How did growing up with my dad feel for you? I felt pretty equally treated. Sometimes better shit. Like I feel like he was more lenient with me? Yeah, I would say there was some favoritism just because you did act more masculine. Do you think the church stunted some of your gender identity? At times, I felt like maybe God couldn't even save me, and so I just spiraled into more depression. Do you think that you'll tell our parents about being genderqueer? Oh my god. I am a good student, and I'm successful, and if they can't handle it, that's okay. What do you think of Solomon's past partner? This is the funny thing, because why haven't I met like any of them? Yeah, I guess I just haven't had one <laughs> long enough for you to meet them, but... Yeah, yeah. Wait, what's that about? Are you scared? Are you scared of me? I was, scared like, them off? deathly afraid. You just need more experience, like, fuck a few bitches, like, break a few hearts, get your heart broken a few more times. When was the time that you, like, really loved your body? I think I love my body a lot right now. I accepted a lot of things about myself and done a lot of therapy. And so my self-image with a lot of rationalizing has never been better. I think right now we're switching roles in a sense. Like you're starting to put yourself out there a lot more and I'm starting to be a little bit more reserved. I think you haven't even hit your peak yet. I think you're on your way, which I'm super excited for. Okay, I've never painted before, but here you go. Wow, you gave me abs. You gave me definition in the Yeah. Ah! Oh, you gave me abs. I wanted you to like see yourself as strong. I have this like purplish blue. That's like your fun side. <laughs> um, it's like behind you. But like she's coming up. She's coming up. She's coming forward. I tried to hit on like being non-binary. That's why I covered your chest and I also like covered your other parts. My other regions. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel represented here? I do. The energy, I think, really speaks to me. I like it a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. How was this experience for you? That was super fun. I think we got to know each other a little bit more. I feel a lot better than I thought I would. It helped me realize my body isn't just like how I see it, and it's definitely helped my body dysmorphia, I think. You guys love each other? Yes, I love my brother. I love you too, buddy. <laughs> I love you. I love you too.